Many people have an idea of what a species is, but it's actually quite hard to get a concrete definition for it. What defines a species? Is it how similar a group of organisms looks? Is it the similarity of their DNA? There are a lot of concepts of what a species is out there, but most scientists go by the biological species concept. This states that a species is a group of populations with individuals that can successfully mate with each other, producing viable and fertile offspring. Let's take a horse and a donkey. You wouldn't say that they're part of the same species, because even though they can successfully breed and produce a mule, the mule is sterile, meaning that it can't reproduce. This is a reproductive barrier called reduced hybrid fertility, since, well, the offspring aren't fertile. Let's take a closer look at the different re reproductive barriers. So we've got the prezygotic barriers over here, meaning prezygote or before a zygote forms. Prezygotic barriers prevent successful mating from even occurring. One type is called habitat isolation, which is when species live in different habitats and may encounter each other rarely, if at all. If they can't get to each other, they can't mate. Another one is called temporal isolation, and this is when species breed during different times. A flower may have a different time of pollination than another one, so the two different flowers can't mate. Third of all, behavioral isolation is when courtship rituals or other animal behavior prevent fertilization, like this failed mating dance. Yikes. Anyways, here's an example of mechanical isolation, which is when morphological differences between organisms prevent successful fertilization. These two snails have different spiral directions, so their genital openings are not aligned. Finally, there's gametic isolation, which is when sperm of one species are unable to fertilize the eggs of another species, simply because of biochemical mechanisms, pH, or other variables. We've also got three postzygotic barriers, or postzygote, meaning after the zygote forms. We already talked about the horse and the donkey, and that's an example of reduced hybrid fertility. Reduced hybrid viability is seen when offspring are in fact produced, but the development or survival of the offspring is hindered due to genetic factors. Last of all is hybrid breakdown, which means that the first generation of offspring is viable and fertile, but when these first generation progeny are mated with each other, they don't produce offspring successfully. So basically, each generation of hybrids is just breaking down slowly until fertilization can't occur su successfully anymore. And now you know what a species is and the barriers that can be present when mating different species. That's all I've got for the biological species concept and check out my other AP Biology videos. Thanks for watching!